Today I wanted to talk Ooh, about get me out of here. three lead generation mistakes that you are currently making. If you want an overflow of new leads that are going to be working with you every day, every day, every day, you got to make sure you're not making these three mistakes. Okay, so mistake number one is you're not niched down enough. Okay. So this is so important. The riches are in the niches and you've probably heard this said like a million times. I feel like I've said it a lot, but repetition is the mother of skill. And sometimes people need to hear it over and over and over again before it really starts to make sense. Your message won't resonate with anyone if it's not focused and clear and directed to a very, very, very specific kind of person. So you want to make sure that you know exactly who your ideal client is. You want to know what their pain points are. You don't want to be vague with this. Like I want to help everybody and like kumbaya, right? No, you got to find what's their specific problem that you're going to be solving and your messaging can't be too big. So if you're not solving a very specific problem and you're not speaking to a very specific person, you're going to struggle. So tell me, do you have your niche defined right now? Cause if you don't, that's where you need to start. And this is what I did in my first business. It was like, I want to help everybody. And I was afraid that if I narrowed down who I was trying to target, that it would limit me and the amount of people that I could help. And what ended up happening is I was really starting to attract the people who I adore working with that are like, they're my people. Like they get me, we get each other and we just have so much fun together and can kick some serious booty in business. And they're just a joy to coach them, to serve them and help them grow their businesses. And so if I was trying to talk to everybody, I wouldn't have those people. Okay. Second mistake that you're probably making is you're not adding value to your ideal client on a consistent basis. And so I want you to ask yourself, are you creating content every week? every single week. So this could be blog content, could be podcast, could be YouTube. Think about what medium you want to use. I don't care which one it is, whichever one that you love the most. So are you creating content and adding value there on a consistent basis? And consistently, I mean, every week has to happen every single week. All I want you to do is just show up and ask yourself, how can I serve today? How can I impact my audience today? How can I show up for them? What do they need from me? Stop putting all this like pressure on yourself to be perfect and all this stuff. Like you've probably heard my dog barking a million times and at least put on like a little bit of makeup today and showered, but how, how damn, like that is a win. That is a win. So don't think about yourself and I hate myself on camera and like all this crap. Just think about who it is that you're trying to help and help them pick your platform and go all in. Don't try to start a podcast, a YouTube channel, an Instagram account, a blog, and like all these things all at once. Cause if you do, you're going to struggle and nothing's going to happen. Essentially, you're going to be spinning all these different things and you're not going to get traction in any of them. So pick one platform. So you're not scattered, go all in and commit to showing up consistently on that one platform. So this is what I did with our blog and with Pinterest. I showed up consistently every single week. And it wasn't until I felt really confident that I could continue to do that was when I decided to open up our next channel. I think it was, it was either Instagram or a Facebook page or a Facebook group. It was one of the three and it wasn't all three at once. I picked one and then I got, I went all into that and it wasn't until that I was super consistent and showing up and doing all the things I knew I needed to do for that to grow that I opened up the next one. So you got to make sure you're not trying to do all the things that you're scattered. You need to pick one, one. What's your one? <laughs> What's your one place for you right now? Pick that one. And then you want to make sure that you don't show up just when you feel like it. That's a big thing. I can't even tell you how many times I'm like, I don't really feel like going live or creating content. You know, like there's many days where I don't feel like doing it, but I know that someone needs to hear what I have to say. And so I show up and I do it anyways. And it's like, kind of like the same thing with working out. Like, do you ever feel motivated to work out? 
no, no. If you do talk to me, I want your secrets, but you never do, but you just start. And when you're in the groove, you feel good when you're done. And it's kind of like that same thing. You just want to make sure that you're showing up, you're doing it on a consistent basis and you're adding massive value. Okay. And then the last mistake that you're currently making when it comes to your lead generation is you're not providing a call to action to take that relationship to the next level. You want to make sure that you have a very specific call to action and every piece of content. So if you're going live on Facebook, call to action to get your free thing. If you're writing a blog post, it's a call to action to get whatever free thing that you have. If you don't have a free offer, you need to create one because you can't be trying to build your business on Facebook and Instagram and not doing anything with your email list because you're building a business on something that you don't own and you don't control. And that's scary, scary stuff when that can be taken away from you at any moment. Okay. Let's recap. Shall we? So three lead generation mistakes that you're currently making. You're not niched down enough. You're not adding value on a consistent basis and you're not providing a specific call to action to take that relationship to the next level. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.